The Albright College football team came within a 30-yard Hail Mary of upsetting number 12 Widener University on the road Saturday, but fell short 34-29 due in large part to a fourth-quarter goal line stand by the Pride. Senior Scott Pilar had another monster game, catching 13 balls for 223 yards and three TDs. He was named a BSN National Offensive Player of the Week and also named to the D3Football.com National Team of the Week. Starting quarterback TJ Luddy was 15 of 27 for 259 yards, two touchdowns, and no interceptions. Facing the nation's number two scoring offense, sophomore Chris Stevens led the Albright defense with 10 tackles, including two for loss. Safety Joe Magosin had a huge game with two interceptions, returning them for a total of 50 yards. It was a tough start for Albright as Widener led 14-0 after just over eight minutes. Luddy was finally able to air it out, finding Pilar for 41 yards, Caleb Shilko for 14 yards, and Pilar for 10 yards on consecutive plays. Luddy then scrambled for a gain of 13 yards down to the five-yard line. After a plunge by Marty Reinhardt, Luddy hit Pilar for a third time in the end zone to get the Lions on the board. Hopton answered for Widener, however, hitting Anthony Davis for 52 yards down into the red zone. The Lion defense tightened up again, holding the pride to just a field goal attempt at a 17-7 scoreline. Albright stuffed another Widener fourth down try with six minutes remaining in the first half, and Griffin Eldridge converted a big third and eight with a 10-yard grab. That set up a 57-yard bomb to Luddy to Pilar for the score. Davis, an All-American kick returner, took the ensuing kickoff 68 yards and then caught an 18-yard TD to quickly push Widener's advantage to 24-16. The Lions answered in the final minute of the first half, with Ty Hughes diving in to make it 24-22 heading into the break. Widener tacked on a field goal, but the Lions drove down and scored to make it 34-29 with 39 seconds left on Pilar's third touchdown catch of the day. Daniel Sobolewski's onside kick was recovered by Levi Myers, and Adam Galzinski found Daniel McNair down to the 30-yard line with 20 seconds remaining. Four passes fell short, however, including a final heave into the end zone as Albright's comeback bid came up short. Albright falls to 5-3, and 4-3 and three in the MAC, and will host first-year program Misericordia next Saturday. It will be Albright's final home game, and 21 departing seniors will be recognized.